Yo, what's going on, you guys? My name is Owen, and welcome back to another video. So, for today's video, I wanted to do an unboxing video. I haven't done one in many, many months, and I figured it's finally time because one of my favorite brands, Bare Knuckles, is releasing their third collection. This collection has so much anticipation behind it, and I was able to get my hands on the stuff early, thankfully. When this video goes live, the collection will be available to purchase in three hours because the collection does come out at 12 p.m. Uh, Pacific time, and I post videos. 12 p.m. Uh, Eastern time, but you guys will get an early look at some of the items and I'm very excited. I have not seen this stuff in person yet. I've only seen the photos and the images online. Just as a quick disclaimer, I did pay for all these items. Um, Jacob and Cole did give me a discount since I did help them out with the collection. I designed their bandana pattern for them. So I did receive a discount and I'm pretty sure they threw in some bandanas, some like extra bandanas. So without further ado, let's hop right into this box. As I go through the items, I'll be telling you guys like how much it costs and like what it's made out of and all that good stuff. Here is what the box is looking like so far. Um, so it takes stuff off the top. So right here we have one of their exclusive items. This is the Collection 3 tote bag and this is going out to the first uh, 50 online and first in-person orders that they do. Um, in-person orders, you have to be in Portland at the pop-up event. If you're one of the first 50, then you get this tote bag. I actually did this graphic on the front. I'm really happy with it. I think it fits in great with the collection. The graphic has like a star or a sun that kind of like shoots across the top right there. And then it says Bare Knuckles 2019. Very clean tote bag. You really just cannot have too many tote bags. So a great addition to the collection. You guys probably don't need to see an on-body type thing for that. So it looks like they did throw in some extra bandanas. We have a white one right here. We have a red one right there, a yellow, an orange, and then this like sea foam green slash blue. Beautiful, beautiful color. This one's actually probably my favorite out of all of them. I just think it's like such a unique color. You don't normally see this color as a bandana. To the naked eye, these might look like normal bandanas. However, the pattern on the bandana is an original illustration done by me and my girlfriend. Um, but I'm super happy with the final product. We went back and forth for a while between Jacob and Cole. I definitely like their color choices too. I think they're perfect. I believe these are retailing on the site for $50 each, but these are not like your normal cotton bandana. These are actually Cupro bandanas. Jacob and Cole really spare no expense when it comes to the fact of choices so right off the bat I can feel that this is not like your normal bandana at all um, it actually feels more like a silk like a matte silk I'm very very happy with the pattern I think it looks sick it fits right in with bare knuckles it's very on brand um, it's got some barbed wire a raven's head a bee a bullet um, some skulls some hearts it's got banners that say bare knuckles it's got uh, banners that have the JKCM I'm very excited to try these out next up we have the plum single stitch t-shirt I'm fairly certain they did the exact same t-shirt from Collection 2 except in two new colorways, which is the Plum colorway and the Rust. Collection 2, they did a dark gray slash black, a medium gray, and then a white. And I actually have the black and the white, and I'm super happy with those t-shirts. I'm actually wearing the black one right now. It's like the perfect base layer t-shirt. And then right here, this is the Plum colorway. It may look like a normal gray, however, it does kind of have that purplish hue to it. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. It's a great color though, and I love how the hems along the bottom, the sleeves, and then the neckline all have like subtle distressing. It's really, really nice. Just like the name of the item, it also does have single stitching. So along the sleeve right there, it has the single stitches. It's also single stitched down at the hem right there. The single stitch detail is very reminiscent of t-shirts that were produced before 1995. 1995 is kind of the cutoff where um, t-shirts were switched over to being double stitched. For this collection, I actually went with a size large, whereas the previous collection, I got two XLs. I did want to go for a slightly slimmer fit, um, but already these are going to be oversized, so it just won't be as oversized as the current ones I have. The plum colorway and the dark rust colorway do retail for $100. Which I feel like, you know, it is definitely up there for a t-shirt, but being that it's like vintage cotton, um, it's been sun-dried and all that good stuff, it is kind of worth it in my opinion because I've gotten so much wear out of mine. Next up, we have one of my favorite items from the collection. It's also a new silhouette from them, and this is the box camp collar shirt. Right here, I have it in the white colorway. They did two colorways. They did white, and then they also did like a dark gray. Right off the bat, I can feel that this is a nice shirt. Um, this is also made out of cupro, which is the same material as the bandana. So it has that silky look to it. And as you guys can see, this shirt is extremely boxy. I got it in a size large. Like I said, generally last season, I would go with XLs, but I wanted a slightly more slimmer fit, um, but still oversized. So that's why I went with the large. And it looks like it's gonna fit great. One of my favorite details though is actually the sleeves. 
you guys can see how wide that sleeve is and how long it is. It's gonna fit amazing. The shoulders are nice and wide. Um, I'm so excited to get this on. A couple other details, you guys can see there is the camp collar right there. So it does have a little button that you can undo. And then the, I think it's lapels will fold out like that. It's kind of hard to show you guys, but you get the idea. That's what a camp collar is. And then one of my favorite details is the embroidery right here. It looks like it was done with a chain stitch. It just says bare knuckles in like a cursive font. Very beautiful. Um, the gray version of the shirt has the same detail, but in white. And then like everything from this collection, it will have the canvas strip, the bare knuckles printed on right there. I'm so excited to try this shirt on. It looks amazing. So the next item here is the tactical short in cream. Very, very excited for these. I've actually been on the hunt for like a really good pair of nylon shorts for a little while now. So like I said, these are made out of nylon and they look like they're gonna fit amazing. I've wanted like a short that's not too long, looks great with any outfit. And the reason why I got these ones is because I want to do a tie dye effect to it or just dye them a color. Um, I haven't really decided yet, but um, like now that I get them in hand, I do really like the cream, but I also like want to experiment a little bit and try something different. They do have two giant box cargo pockets right in the front right there on each thigh. And on the back side, it has the exact same pockets on like the butt region. Um, they do have two side pockets and they also have a few belt loops. They've got one right there, one right there, um, and then yeah, that's it actually. Two on the left side, which is interesting. Wouldn't really expect that on a pair of shorts. I got these in a size medium and it looks like they're going to fit great. Um, oh, I also, I also completely forgot to mention they do have cargo pockets along the sides right there, whereas the other ones are on the front and back. Perfect summer short. And then the next item, the same shorts, but in a black colorway. There are no differences between this pair and this pair, besides the colorway, obviously. So it does have the two front pockets, the two back pockets, and then the two pockets on the side. Of course, I had to get a black pair of nylon shorts. I've been looking for a black pair of nylon shorts, so these absolutely fit the bill. So let's move on to the next item. All right, moving right along, there's only two things left, but this is a very big haul as it is. I'll move on to these pants right here. So these are very highly anticipated. So these pants actually have like a bundle deal thing. Normally you can only get this colorway of the bandana with the purchase of these pants. So I do have an extra one right here. So these are the oversized pleated trouser in pink plaid. I don't own any pants like this at all. I do have like suit pants obviously, but I don't have pants with this kind of pattern and I'm already in love with them. But like the name entails, these do look like they're very oversized. I went with the size 32. The website says if you're unsure of your size or like if you're in between sizes, just go a size up. So that's what I went with. I love the houndstooth pattern. I think the material is great. So the lining actually stops right where my hand is right there. You guys can see my finger. It only goes like maybe like two thirds of the way down. I really like the attention detail here. If the lining went all the way down, obviously it's not necessary, first of all, and second of all, it'd be really uncomfortable. So excellent choice, excellent attention detail. They do have the pleats right there on like the thigh region. The pleats don't go all the way down, which I like. I'm not a huge fan of pleats that do that. Um, sometimes I am, it just kind of depends on the pants, but I do like that they only kept it up here for these pants. And then just going over some quick details, it has like your normal suit trouser clasp in the front, so it has a little hook and then it has a button right here that I will quickly unbutton. You guys get the idea. And then it has a button fly right there. I'm very much looking forward to wearing these. They're gonna be amazing pants, especially for like back to school time. So that was the oversized pleated trousers and the pink plaid. Let's move on to the last item. So for the final item to finish off this unboxing haul, let me get rid of the box now. Right here, we have a grail. This is the pale colorway of the cropped cashmere wool sweater. You guys might remember this item from collection two. They have re-editioned that silhouette with two new colorways. The one from collection two that I have is a black colorway and right here we have the pale colorway. This is a beast of a sweater. That is how wide the sweater is but it looks like it's gonna fit amazing. I love the black one that I have. I have that one in an XL and this one I got in a large. Like all the items I got in this video, um, I want to go with an oversized fit, not like a super, super oversized fit. Um, so that's why I got a large. It's like a minty pale, I'd say. I think pale is pretty accurate, but it's like a minty pale. The materials are 70% wool and 30% cashmere. It's also a Japanese wool too. So amazing sweater. It's going to feel so comfy. It does have the subtle distressing all around the neck 
the sleeve hems and the bottom hem. Even though it is kind of a pop of color, it fits right in with my wardrobe and also with the rest of the items from the collection. So I think they did a great job in those regards. This item does retail for 380, so it is the most expensive item in the collection but I already know it's gonna sell out. The black one from the previous collection sold out instantly, so I know this one's gonna fly. All in all, I think this is a great haul. I'm very happy with all these items. Congratulations, Jacob and Cole, on another amazing collection. Let me know what you guys thought of this stuff down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you could drop a like down below. It helps me out so much. As you guys know, us YouTubers need those likes. It really helps the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Peace out, have a good day, see you next time.